Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We're back at Hachioji, Tokyo, Japan. This is going to be part two. And let's get things right underway with more、uh, showcases here. And this one actually is,、uh, you know, obviously it's newer hardware with the PlayStation 5 coming in at 96,800 yen, which is about the same price featured in the one in the previous episode. Not going to focus on too much on that one just because this one here is a little bit more,、uh, a little bit more interesting. And it's gonna be in the top shelf. Some of you may recognize that figure or maybe have been here before and you know. But let's start at the bottom and work our way up. We have those PlayStation Move controllers, some Neo Geo minis with the Christmas edition there coming in at 14,300 yen. My understanding is that one has like some、uh, exclusive games that are not featured in the standard、uh, international version and、uh, domestic release there.、And、then we have、uh, some PlayStation Slims. And then a clone system in the back. What is that? 16 bit pocket mid plus. And then there's that Nasne thing. I think that was like a, like a DVR recorder type thing for the PS3. And then we have some PSP systems. Look at these things. They look freaking awesome, especially that,、uh, that one for 8,800 yen on the corner. Even the red one. The red one is a really nice looking one, especially I like the touch there with the, with the button scheme. And then up above that, we have some PlayStation Vita consoles. And now these look like they're the slim,、uh, the 2000 model. Yep. Coming in at、uh, various prices. I do like that, that neon reddish orange one. I think it's pretty mean. And then we have the ones,、uh, the classic one that has the OLED display. And then here we have an assortment of memory cards. I remember these things were super pricey. And 32 gigs coming in at $38.50. I guess that's not too bad, but. Here's a few boxed ones, but the main event the main event is coming up. Look at this. This is going to be the JVC Wonder Mega coming in at 165,000 yen. Now, this thing is actually in,、uh, it's in pretty decent condition.、Uh, definitely a lot more than,、uh, than, than, than I would be willing to play there, but you know, this is definitely like a showpiece. And man, right now I'm kind of in the mood for. For Mega Drive and、uh, Mega CD software. I mean, that thing looks pretty mean. I'm gonna adjust the camera here so we can get like an overhead view. And look how, look how freaking awesome this thing looks. You don't often see these、uh, in stores anymore, but when they do, whew. It actually has the Sega branding there, but this was,、uh, I believe this was actually uh, a JVC uh, uh, produced、uh, console, manufactured console. And it looks like it has like a little sliding、uh, mechanism there. I'm not too familiar with the actual operation of this unit because, like I said, I usually see them behind glass. But man, that thing was pretty awesome looking. And let's go ahead and make our way into another display case. This one is going to be featuring more、uh, software. And there's going to be a few Mega CD games in here, as well as Sega Saturn, and I believe a few PlayStation and PC Engine titles. Up above, you saw, as you saw there, was a lot of loose、uh, handheld stuff. But here we have Power Drift, and it's coming in at 14,850 yen. Now, this one could be sealed, but it looks like it is suffering a bit from,、uh, from sun fading.、And、then we got Legendary Axe. I believe that's the name of that. I can't remember the name. And then, not sure what this little fluffy animal business, but underneath that, we have Marvel Super Heroes. And then we have the arcade card for the、uh, PC Engine ROM ROM. Got some Outrun there. And then we have this USA business. I'm not really sure what that's about, but kind of an interesting one. But here we have PlayStation 2. Look at these stacks. So much PlayStation 2 titles, and a lot of interesting ones, a lot of common ones, and a lot of not so interesting ones. But definitely,、uh, most likely they have something for everyone. And then that kind of segues into the PlayStation 3. Lately, I've been,、uh, I've been back on, on the PS3 playing some Sonic CD, just kind of prepping for the Mega CD. And look at that. We have Valkyria Chronicles, a limited edition there. I think I actually had that one in my hand, but I ended up、uh, not picking it up. And then here we have our PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 titles. I'm assuming in a, in a few months, maybe like in a, in a year or so, this is going to be a, a freaking、uh, monster of a, of a section. For PlayStation 4, or maybe not. Actually, the PlayStation 4 is, is uh, since uh, 2013, so <laughs> if it's not happening now, maybe it won't get that much bigger. But there was Dragon's Crown、uh, Pro. I have a digital copy of that. Great game. And then we have、uh, Lost Judgment. They made a big deal about that game、uh, here in Japan. 
but I'm not really familiar with it. It is Sega, so it could be related to the Yakuza series. And then we have, uh, not really sure what this is. Aqua Aqua Plus is the developer or publisher. Kind of an interesting cover. But yeah, good old PlayStation 4. Next to that, we'll go back to our PS3 area. We have DMC, Devil May Cry, for 330 yen. I started playing that one, and um, I kind of left it by the wayside, but I, I definitely will go back to it. And I am playing the PS3 version. PS3 version definitely uh, has its issues with games and performance, but still, it was my, my console of choice. And then here's one, Silent Hill Downpour. Now, this is the North American uh, version of the game for 2640 and. I actually remember playing that one on uh, all the way from start to finish in 3D, and it was pretty pretty enjoyable experience. Here's another North American variant, Beyond Two Souls, coming in at 1620. And actually, this location there is a lot of uh, a lot of tourists and a lot of like international people are shopping here. And look at that Uncharted Drake's Fortune, another North American copy. They're just kind of mixed all about. There's also like a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 there. What do we have here? Uh, this looks like a, an animation collection and soundtrack for Ultra Street Fighter 4. That's probably like the bonus disc for a limited or collector's edition. And there's a Modern Warfare 3 for 550 yen. And most of these games are going to be uh, less than 2,000 yen. Most of them, but there are a few that are the exception. Here's Ghost uh, Call of Duty for 330 yen. And Black Ops uh, for 550 uh, Black Ops 2, and I believe that one also supports uh, 3D, stereoscopic 3D. So quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff here. What do we have? Here? The MLB The Show 14, 880 yen. Not too bad. And then uh, there was a Spider-Man there that's also North American. And then Resident Evil 5, the North American version for 1650. You're better off just getting the uh, Gold Edition. I forget what it's called. Uh, alternative Edition in Japan. That one usually runs like about between 100 and uh, 500 yen. And we have Resistance 3. That was a freaking awesome game. Another game that I played in stereoscopic 3D. I really do like that feature. It's a shame it, it was just kind of a fad. A little bit gimmicky, but pretty cool. And then what do we have here? We have uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. It's a shame that some of these games uh, don't have the English language uh, options uh, mixed in because they can certainly fit on the Blu-ray. And then we have Big 3 Gun Shooting. I actually have this one, and this is a freaking awesome game, especially the, the pirate game. I forget the name of it. But that one is freaking awesome, especially when you bundle or play it with the Move controller. It definitely adds another another level of immersion. Actually, the local the local arcade next to me actually has the, the game, and it's a, it's a spectacle. And then here is our PlayStation 2 titles. We got JoJo's Bizarre Adventure down at the bottom. We have uh, Gradius 3 and 4, the collection, and R-Type Final at the top, and all sorts of stuff mixed in between. What do we have here? Uh, SBC Chaos, SNK versus Capcom. I have that for the PlayStation 2. Great title. And then we have Vampire uh, Darkstalkers Collection. I really don't like that one on the PlayStation 2 simply because of the, the resolution. And this is a great title, 1650 for Gradius 3 and 4, which also got, it also got a North American release, which I recently found out. And then we have the King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match. That one used to be quite expensive, but it has since dropped off in price a bit. We have the Classics Collection by Capcom for 3,300 yen. That's actually a great collection. And then we have KOF Impact, uh, Maximum Impact. I've been meaning to pick that one up. I'm kind of curious about it. And then we have Fighting Jam. I forget what that's called in, in the States, but kind of an interesting title. And then more PlayStation 2. Quite a bit of PlayStation 2 titles. Look at that. I believe each of these sections is about uh, four feet. So roughly uh, well, close, to, close to just under a meter and a half. And then we have Strikers 1 and 2 for the PlayStation 2. I wonder how that one is. And then we have a Driver 3 for 1320. I've actually, I've only played the first Driver, and I believe that was on a PlayStation that I played it on. It's been a long time. And then we have 12 Stag. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's a Taito game. And I was thinking that it was a shooter, but it's a, it's, I can't even remember actually. But <laughs> here we have Devil May Cry for 330 in, and Devil May Cry 3. 
and part two they're all the same price 330 yen although there is the hd collection which is a little bit less expensive than buying all three separate now this is a cover look at this dirge of cerberus final fantasy 7 i believe that's vincent there on the cover it's been years since i played that game and then this is the last uh, of the playstation 2 titles or at least the last section but still quite a bit quite uh quite hefty and what do we have? Metal Slug uh, Complete. This is coming in at, what, 5,280 yen. So this one is uh, a little bit pricier. But as you can see, it has uh, 1 through 6 on the disc. And that collection isn't too bad. I hope it's better than the North American release because, uh, man, that had some, some input delay. And then we have this title coming in at 1980. I'm not really sure what it's about, but it is a colorful cover. Maybe some kind of puzzle, visual novel type of type of game. And then over here, look at this. Lowrider. Lowrider uh, Around the World. 550 yen. Actually, I had this one and I kind of set it aside because I wanted to pick it up because I was a little bit curious about it as I haven't seen it. And I wonder if this got a, a North American release, but I completely forgot and, uh, and, and whatnot. But it's okay. I was just more, more, more curious more than anything. But let's go ahead and make our way into the PlayStation Vita section. Now, I did pick up a game here, one that I've been uh, wanting for quite some, some time, which is going to be this Call of Duty uh, Black Ops uh, Declassified. I got that one for 330 yen because that's the lowest that I've seen it. And I wanted to take advantage of that price. And then here we have our PSP titles quite a bit. And I got to say, I think at the moment, out of all my handhelds, the PSP is uh, the one that I'm enjoying the most. But I, I, I certainly love this machine way back uh, during its prime. And it has, uh, it has rarely disappointed. A lot of great titles for this thing. And as you can see, they have a lot of great, uh, uh, a huge software lineup here at uh, the Hachioji Hard Off. And yeah, uh, there's Myst. Uh, that's, a, that's a new one. I didn't realize uh, Myst got a, a PlayStation Portable release. And then what do we have here? This is another one by Sega. Um, haven't heard of this or haven't seen this title before. Could be some kind of mystery novel type of thing. I mean, just judging by the cover there. And then we have this uh, Rockman collection. We have Rockman X and then the remake of uh, the first which that, that Rockman X there, Mega Man X on the PSP is freaking awesome. And then we have Initial D Street Stage uh, for PSP. I wonder how that is. Usually those, those games seem pretty cool. And then what else? What else we have here? This game was like a launch game, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And it also has a North American release coming in at 880 yen. But I totally forget the name. And then we have some Naruto action. And then we have this, short skirts and guns. I'm not really sure what this is about. But it looks like a, some kind of mystery novel. Maybe like a detective type of game. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of good PSP stuff. Then we have Valkyria Chronicles 3 for 43.20. Wow. I was thinking that that would be uh, less expensive. And it looks like uh, part two was next to it. And uh, a shame that part three didn't get an official uh, North American release, although there is a fan translation uh, of the game. And then here we have some Xbox action. It looks like most of it, the majority of it, is going to be 360. We got uh, Ninja Gaiden uh, 2 up top. And then down in the bottom, look at this tiny little section of original Xbox titles. We have X Men, and no, no doubt, look at this, the North American variant coming in at 4320. Kind of nice to see and then we have the last remnant for 330 and i believe that also has a, a switch and a playstation 4 and a steam release which uh i remember when that game launched uh, the last remnant i really wanted to play it for some reason i should uh look uh look for it when it's on sale on the on the nintendo switch and then here is another uh display case just kind of sandwiched in between all these stacks so let's take a closer look and see what kind of kind of retro goods we find here. Got a got a baseball. Oh no, not a baseball. That's like a, some kind of shooting game. Look at that cover. I wonder what he's saying. He even has like a little speech bubble. And then we have Makaimura. 
uh, firebrand here coming in at 6,600 yen. I actually have that for the Game Boy, but it has a lot of Japanese, so you, you kind of, if you don't have a, a full understanding of the language, you kind of miss out on all the little nice details. And then Mutant Warriors, that's like Tournament Edition for 4,400 yen. That was actually a pretty cool game. Then we have Rockman World 5 for 7,700 yen and 2 for the same price, as well as the Turtles and uh, Castlevania there. A lot of great Game Boy titles. I believe Part 5, the North American release, is uh, quite expensive. Um, and then we have Ikari Warriors, 1943, Super Mario Bros. What else do we have? Oh, there we go. We got a Dreamcast North American release. We'll get to that here in a sec. But we have Ninja Gaiden for the PC Engine. And uh, what else we have here? That Kato and something. And then Dispiria. I wonder what Dispiria is all about. That Ninja Gaiden on PC Engine is a little bit wonky, though, with the backgrounds. But we have Jedi Power Battles, the North American release, coming in at 4,400 yen. And then here, let's make our way into the Sega Mega CD titles. I'm kind of itching to get mine up and running, hopefully soon. But look at this. There's a North American title here. We got Echo the Dolphin. I really wish they would have stuck with these smaller uh, smaller sized uh, cases instead of those long box ones. But it looks like it's a double, a two or, or like seven games in, on, uh, in that collection. And then we have Soul Feast. This was, I believe, an uh, early title, maybe a launch title. But look at this cover. That is freaking awesome. Like retro sci-fi. I freaking love it. Great, great stuff there. And what else? Although the game itself is actually kind of, you know, a little bit, I don't want to say forgettable, but it's not like a, one of the better shooters on the platform. And then we got Star Wars Rebel Assault coming in at 3,300 yen. I hear uh, mixed things about this one, uh, mostly uh, not good. And then we have Silphied coming in at 1650. I want to get this, but I want to get the PlayStation 2 uh, release. That one looks so freaking cool. Um, I, I used to have it, but but uh, like a fool, I sold it. So I definitely want to add the PlayStation 2 version back into my collection. And then here we have some more Mega CD, some more Sega goodness. And we're going to make our way into the Sega Saturn. Look at this. Always nice to see some Saturn titles. I remember when I first came to this store many, many years ago. Man, this was the place. They had so many uh, great uh, Sega games. And they still have a few. And I, I would say it's still worth, uh, definitely worth visiting this place. But there's Virtua Cop 2 there coming in at 1,100 yen. Although that title you can, prob can probably be had in uh, Akihabara for far less. We got Virtua Fighter. If you can love that game, I was playing it the other day. The original one, mind you. We got Lunacy up top, a couple uh, soccer games, and then Dreamcast. But I want to say on the Dreamcast section, well, there's Biohazard 3, The Last or last Escape. And anyhow, next episode, let's go ahead and take a quick peek. We're going to look at Super Famicom and more hardware and more North American Dreamcast games. So keep tuned. Anyhow, my name is JJ, and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Ciao.